Nvidia seems to be going through a bit of a meltdown. First, it was our Ada Lovelace Titan, more on that later, and now it's their 12-pin power connector. One such example has been posted recently on Reddit by user Reggie Gakil, where he posted some pictures of his 4090's 12-pin power connector melting. Now, Nvidia has claimed to several outlets, such as Jay's Two Cents and Hardware Overclocking, that the 12-pin connector just works. And here's the thing, to some extent, I don't blame Nvidia, and I have some reasoning for it. To start, Nvidia never created the 12-pin power connector. That was actually brought about by a collaboration between Intel and PCI SIG. This cable was designed with the intention of delivering up to 600 watts on a single connector. As the point of the comparison, an 8-pin PCIe connector that we're all used to can deliver up to 150 watts. With new technology like this, I do not blame Nvidia for taking advantage of this and implementing it into their new graphics cards. It fits the bill perfectly if you're looking at a card that needs 450 watts and gives a bit of headroom to allow board partners to to push the limits. On paper, it does make perfect sense. But Nvidia's shiny new toy came with one major weakness, adoptability. See, while PCIe 12 pin connectors is a new standard, that means it's only showing up on more recent power supplies. And if someone bought a power supply a couple years ago, you won't have this connector. Hell, even Seasonic, a company renowned for having the best power supplies in the industry, doesn't even have a 12-pin power connector on their 1600 watt power supply, which would be the perfect candidate for such a connector. But since we are some time off from wide adoption of this new standard, this Achilles heel needs a solution, and Nvidia provided, well, a band-aid. In my opinion, this is where Nvidia really screwed up. To give you an idea, Nvidia's adapter allows three separate 8-pin connectors to come together in one 12-pin connector. And when looking at it in use, it's not pretty, both aesthetically and functionally. Obviously, it doesn't look good, but more importantly, the strain on these connectors endure while trying to be either hidden or smushed against the side of a case isn't good either. As you could imagine, this can cause issues like melting connectors as we've seen. Taking advice from a trusted source about cables, cable mod, they recommend giving a cable 35 millimeters of slack before bending a cable vertically, and never bend it horizontally. To be fair, while this type of slack is never actually seen in PC builds, it's never been a point of major concern. But when looking at pictures of the Nvidia supplied adapter in use, it always have very hard bends right about the connection point. This will lead connections to not making full contact when trying to deliver power. And this in type of environment, the more contact, the better. Think of it trying to hold up a text vic with your entire hand versus just one finger. The smaller the area will be put under more strain. With Nvidia's adapter, strain will take the form of higher thermal output since there's still the same amount of power trying to go through a smaller area. You can clearly see this when looking at Reggie Kakil's melted connector. Only one side of the connector really is melted, which is a sign that the adapter used would put under a good amount of strain on one side of the connector, causing the exact issue we just went over. Luckily for Reggie, it seems like Nvidia has reached out to them to help fix his issue, but many others may not be as lucky. And funny enough, this isn't the only thing of Nvidia's that seems to be melting. If you want to know more about Nvidia's cancelled Ada Lovelace Titan and what will be taking its place, watch this video here, and I'll see you next time.